Do you think it's possible to solve this? We need to isolate x on one side of the equation, but the way to do that isn't clear. So maybe we'll take the square root of both sides. On our right hand side, it looks pretty good. We have an x now. But on our left hand side, it's worse than before. 2 to the x over 2. What do we do with that? So instead, let's try taking the logarithm of our original equation. All right, so we'll take the log of both sides of our equation, then we'll use log rules to bring our exponents in front. But now we have x times some number on one side of our equation, and on the other, we have some number times the log of x. So how do we get x out of our log and untangle the other x? We're hoping we can just do a few algebraic steps to find our answer. But this is what's called a transcendental equation. It's one that cannot be solved with basic algebraic steps and it's because we have a log of x in our equation. If we try x equals 1, we realize that won't work. But if we set x equal to 2, that will work. 2 squared equals 2 squared. 4 equals 4. There's also more solutions. Although x equaling 3 doesn't work because 2 cubed doesn't equal 3 squared, but if we set x equal to 4, it will work because 2 to the fourth power does equal 4 squared. It turns out there are three solutions. The third one is somewhere between negative one and zero. Finding that solution and proving there aren't others will probably require looking at the graphs of two to the x and x squared to see where they cross over. Otherwise, we can use more advanced math tools to figure out all of our solutions.